India has fought a series of wars with her neighboring country since her independence. Today in this video, we are going to discuss all the wars fought by India in detail. Number 6. Indo-Pakistani War of 1947-1948 the Indo-Pakistani War was fought between India and Pakistan over the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir from 1947 to 1948. The result of the war was inconclusive. However, most neutral assessments agree that India was the victor of the war, as it was able to successfully defend about two-thirds of the Kashmir, including Kashmir Valley, Jammu, and Ladakh. The inconclusive result of the war still affects the geopolitics of both countries. Territorial Changes UN Ceasefire Line of 1949 Later becomes Line of Control after the Simla Agreement of 1972 Pakistan controls roughly a third of Kashmir, whereas India controls the rest. Kashmir Valley, Jammu, and Ladakh Casualties and Losses India, 1,100-plus soldiers killed Pakistan, 6,000-plus soldiers killed Number 5. Indochina War of 1962 The Indochina War was a war between China and India that occurred in 1962. A disputed Himalayan border was the main pretext for war, but other issues play a role. A series of violent border incidents occurred after the 1959 Tibetan Uprising, when India had granted asylum to the Dalai Lama. The war ended when China declared a ceasefire on 20 November 1962 and simultaneously announced its withdrawal to its claimed line of actual control. The Indochina War was also noted for the non-deployment of the Navy or Air Force by either the Chinese or Indian side. Result of the war, Chinese victory. Territorial changes. China captures Aksai Chin. Casualties and losses India, 3,000-plus soldiers killed China, 700-plus soldiers killed Number 4. Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 The 17-day war caused thousands of casualties on both sides and witnessed the largest engagement of armored vehicles and the largest tank battle since World War II. India lost around 540 square kilometers of land, primarily in Ran of Kutch, while Pakistan lost around 1,800 square kilometers. Hostilities between the two countries ended after a United Nations mandated ceasefire was declared. Result? Inconclusive. Both sides claim victory. United Nations mandated ceasefire. No permanent boundary change. Casualties and Losses Neutral Claims India, 3,000-plus soldiers killed 150-plus tanks lost 60-plus aircraft lost Pakistan, 3,800-plus soldiers killed 250-plus tanks lost 20 aircraft lost Number 3. India-China Military Conflict of 1967 well, it was not a war but a conflict. Conflict Location Nathula and Chola on the border between China and Sikkim Result, Indian victory. China was pushed back from Sikkim. Casualties and losses India, 88 soldiers killed. China, 340 soldiers killed. Number 2. Indo-Pakistani War of 1971 During the war, Indian and Pakistani militaries simultaneously clashed on the eastern and western fronts. The war ended after the eastern command of the Pakistan military signed the Instrument of Surrender on 16 December 1971 in Dhaka, marking the formation of East Pakistan as the new nation of Bangladesh. Result, decisive Indian victory. Territorial changes. Eastern Front. Independence of East Pakistan as Bangladesh. Western Front. Indian forces captured around 5,795 square miles of land in the west, 
but returned it in the 1972 Simla Agreement as a gesture of goodwill. Casualties and Losses India, 3,000 plus soldiers killed. One naval ship lost. 45 aircraft lost. Pakistan, 9,000 plus soldiers killed. 90,000 plus soldiers captured. Seven naval ships lost. 75 aircraft lost. Number 1. Cargill War The Cargill War, also known as the Cargill Conflict, was an armed conflict between India and Pakistan that took place between May and July 1999 in the Kargil district of Kashmir and elsewhere along the line of control. The cause of the war was the infiltration of Pakistani soldiers disguised as Kashmiri militants into positions on the Indian side of the LOC. Result, decisive Indian victory. Casualties and losses. India, 520 plus soldiers killed. Pakistan, 1,000 plus soldiers killed. Thanks for watching.